Okay, welcome, welcome. Hello, everybody. So before we begin our hour of code today, I wanted to show you that we have a Link 12 family website. This is the elementary families. And on the, the top, you can see there is a navigation bar. And the last page of the navigation is called Tech Squad. So when I click on that, and you can ask your teachers for the link to the family website. And then we have a Tech Squad page, and I have put all of our recordings from previous lessons up here. And I will put the next one, our Hour of Code one, on next. So that is where you can find the recordings. Okay. Now, every year about this time, Code.org puts on this, this celebration of Hour of Code. And it's usually happening during this, this first week of December. And a lot of other schools are participating in this. It's very exciting. So HourofCode.com is what we're going to do today. Now today I'm going to show you three different things on Hour of Code because you are all asking me, can you learn Python and things like this? So I'm going to introduce you to three different programs today that I think you're going to really like. So I'm going to click right here on the button that says try it. And then they have different grade levels here. It says all grades, pre-reader, grades two through five, and then you can go above. I'm gonna click on grades two through five. Oh, wait, somebody's here. Hello, welcome. Welcome, welcome. We are at hourofcode.com. And then we click the try it button. Grades two through five, and then over on the right side, it says either beginner or comfortable. I'm going to show you one thing in the beginner page, and then I'm going to show you two things in the comfortable page. So, beginning page. Available for me. So, these are all things that you all can try. Okay, I've been doing this for many years, and this one is a very popular one. It's called Minecraft. Anybody heard of it? Time I play Minecraft all the time. Okay. All right, so this is a, a code.org version of Minecraft, and I am going to go through this. They have 11 levels, and we'll see if we'll see if we can do it. Okay, welcome, welcome. Okay, so if you are just joining, we're at hourofcode.com. We press try it, and then I went up here to grades two through five, and I'm at beginner. But before we get started, let me tell you that next time, the challenge is for you all to teach me how to do one of these programs. So all these little squares are all different programs. And I'm gonna teach you how to do three of them today. And then next time, you all are gonna teach me how to do something. Okay, I'm going to press the start button. And it's going to start with a video, and I hope you all will be able to hear it. Okay, they, they have four different things to choose from here. I'm going to choose this one called the Minecraft Voyage Aquatic. The Aquatic Voyage. That means it's underwater. Hello, you're just in Can you hear that? Welcome to the Voyage Aquatic. Nice. I'm about to embark on a quest to find hidden underwater treasure... And I'm very glad to have your help. Who knows what we'll encounter along these mysterious waterways? We're meant to meet our first guide somewhere on this dock. Welcome adventurers. To complete the Voyage Aquatic, you'll need to solve a series of puzzles using code. Here's how it works. Your screen is split into three main parts. On the left, you'll see the Minecraft world. The middle area is your toolbox, where you can find coding commands. And on the large area on the right is your workspace. This is where you can start commands to build your program and control your movements. The instructions for each level are at the top of the page. 
Click the plus sign to change between long and short instructions. Try dragging blocks from the toolbox into workspace, stacking them and then click the run button to execute your commands. You might have to try a few times to get it right and some of the puzzles have more than one solution, so experiment to see what works. If you want to try again, click the reset button to go back where you started. If you need to delete a command, just drag the block from your workspace back into the toolbox. Remember, click run to see what your code looks like in action. Okay, enough messing around, fellow adventurer. Let's start coding to find some underwater treasure. Okay, so that, that was a quick introduction, and you can watch that as many times as you want. Okay, so the, I'm going to start with a character. I'm going to select Alex. And then the instructions are always up at the top. So it says, you need supplies for the voyage ahead. Collect a boat from the chest. And now I say, okay. Okay, so you have your coding blocks in the middle. And your screen is over on the left to see what it does. And then your workspace is on the right. So I'm going to drag. So let's just try it. I'm going to press the run button. And it moved forward one space. So I need to move forward another space. So now I'm going to press reset and then run it again. Okay, that was super easy, and I know you're thinking, okay, this is boring, but it gets harder. <laughs> All right, so now I press continue, and it goes to the next one. I want you to notice up on the top, it has different levels, and there are 11 levels, and it took me about a half an hour to figure out level 11 <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> I was trying to get through them all for you guys. Okay, Bye. so now I'm on two, <laughs> so it gets harder quick. Boats are much easier than swimming in open water. Head to the end of the dock and hop aboard. Okay, so here's my person. So now they're saying move forward, turn right, move forward. I have to have two of those, and then I'm going to run it. Okay, yay. Again, pretty easy. Continue. And I'm doing this on my laptop, but it works the same on an iPad. Grab the oars and pilot your boat across the open seas to catch the cod fish. It's a fish. Up here is a fish. So I have to go forward. And how many times? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Okay, you have to connect them. Four, five, six. Okay, that's a pain to put all those. Let's see if it works, or do I have to do seven? Okay, I have to do one more. That's a pain to do all those. There should be something like a loop to make it easier. Maybe that's in the next lesson. We learned about looping when we were doing Scratch. Okay, I won the fish. Continue. Okay, so they're they're teaching you different what? things. Now we're going to watch another video. Great, we've caught a codfish. Did you know if you feed a codfish to a dolphin, the dolphin will guide you to a shipwreck where there may be treasure. We must be getting closer. The next set of puzzles are bound to be trickier. So we better learn some more coding skills. What's this? A cave? Welcome, adventurers. My name is Squid. I noticed you were using the same set of commands over and over in some of the last puzzles. Must have been a bit tiresome. Do you ever wish you had a way to do something over and over again? Like, you know, washing dishes or brushing your teeth without getting tired or bored? <laughs> that would be nice. Computers are really good at doing the same thing over and over again using coding loops. When you want your program to do the same instructions many times, you can use a loop. The loop contains instructions with the command to repeat untold goal. Once your program starts a repeat untold goal loop, it will keep running the instructions inside until it gets to the goal. Try this for yourself. Place the commands you want to repeat inside the repeat untold goal block, click run, and watch it go. Well, 
Well, that was a little weird. Who knew squids could code? I didn't even think they had fingers. So now we know about loops, let's use them to bag us some more treasure. Okay, I knew there were loops coming up here. Okay, so repeat until goal. So it says, let's feed the cod to the dolphin. Use a repeat until block to get across the ocean faster. Okay, so I'm just going to put my move forward block inside the repeat until goal loop block. And I'm going to press run and see if that's all I need to do. Yep, that was easy. Okay. Level five. There's a Nautilus shell hidden somewhere. Explore the shipwreck to reach the chest. Okay, so here's my person. This one is kind of hard. Here's my person and here's the chest. And it's giving me a clue to... I think I figured... Uh, in the swim? Yes. I think I figured it out. Can I explain it? You figured it out already before I even said what it was? Okay, tell me. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, so you need one move forward and one turn right. Because he'll walk down there and then he'll turn. And it'll... Turn this way? Okay. Mm -hmm. First, let's see what it's doing right now. So I'm going to press run. I think you need a... Um, Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm hitting my head on the wall. Stop. <laughs> I think you need to turn right in the beginning. Okay, so let's turn right in the beginning. So I'm just going to push that turn right thing. Not there. Um, Not there. Um, you know, in front of move forward. Not there. Um, in front of move forward. Really? Okay, so I'm going to drag this down in front of move forward inside the thing. Okay, let's see if that'll work. So I go. Oh, yay! That was tricky, but easy. Thank you. All right, so it's getting harder. Looks freezing out there. Catch a salmon on your way this, to the underwater ruins. This is always the one that got me. Okay, so it says we've got repeat until goal, and then we have repeat three times. So I have to go forward and turn right. Go forward and turn right. So I'm going to say repeat until goal. How many times go forward? One, two, three. Okay, so one, two, three, and then turn right. Let's see if that works. One, two, three, turn right. One, two, three. Uh-oh, that didn't work. Okay, so... Three times. So I, I have to turn left. Okay, so I'm going to do a move forward. Know. Um, You can click on the turn right on the arrow. You guys are so smart. It, then you can change it into turn left. And part of the reason why I'm so good is because I've already done it. Okay. Not this one, but. Okay, let's see if that works. Yay! All right, so I went forward, turned right, and then went forward and turned left. Okay, we're on seven. We got another video. Here we go. We're going to learn something else. This is called conditionals. Wow, another three puzzles solved. And we've caught a salmon. Not quite as exciting as piles of gold, but we'll take what we can get. And I have a feeling that Nautilus shell will come in handy later. I wonder what lurks in these ruins. Perhaps another hint. Let's take a look inside. My name is Nettie, and welcome to my ruins. We make decisions all the time based on conditions. If it looks like rain, then we'll grab an umbrella. If we're hungry, then we'll eat a snack. If we see a creeper, then we run in the opposite direction. Computers make these types of decisions too. They can actually respond to conditions using code. To program a response like this using your code command, select an if path block. Select the drop down to create the command. For example, 
If you write the command if path to the right and place turn right inside the conditional, then when Steve reaches an open path to the right, he will always turn right. If there's no opening to the right, he will not turn right. These conditional if commands are helpful when you run code in unpredictable situations, such as mysterious ruins and underwater caves. Try using the if blocks and take your code for a spin. Wow, Natty's ruins were awesome. I really got to move out of my parents' house. So what do you think? Are the conditions right for us to complete the final puzzles? Let's give it a go. Okay, so they were explaining if it rains, you take an umbrella. If the path turns to the right, I mean, if there's a path open to the right, then you turn to the right. So we've got... I think that's the next one, Cascade Anyway. We, we've got repeat until goal, so then we're going to move forward, and if the path turns to the right, then we have to put that block turn right. Let's see if that works. It should work. So we go yeah, forward. Because, because that video just showed us that it would. Yeah. So that was super easy. Okay, now we have, we found a treasure called a prismarine rock. Okay. First icebergs and now lava? Get through this volcanic island and find the tropical fish in the coral reef. Okay, so here's the fish. I need to go on the blue area to get the fish. And I have to avoid the hot water that's bubbling and the lava. Okay, so I'm going to put a repeat until goal. And then I'm going to move forward. And then if the path goes to the right, I'm going to turn right. Change this to right. Okay, so I'm going to go right, turn right. Is this right or left? Let's try it. Sometimes it's confusing to see if it's right or left. Right. I think it is right. Okay, we got it. Was there a question? Uh, yes, I'm still stuck on six. What was six? Let me go back to six. So you can go back by going up here. Okay, six was tough because... I did a repeat until goal, and then I went forward, forward, forward. So you go forward three times, and then turn right, and then you go forward three times and turn left. Yep. Got it? I got it. All right. Yep. All right, so six is good. We are on nine, I believe. Did we do eight already? Okay, we did eight, so now we're on nine. Okay, you made it to the reef. Now search for the heart of the sea, this, this uh, blue thing. Use the blue and red coral to reach the treasure chest. Okay, this one was tough. <laughs> okay, this one was hard. So we have blue coral, which means there are these blue blocks, and then we have these red blocks, we're trying to get to the treasure chest, and the treasure chest is way over here. So, I'm going to repeat until goal, and I'm going to move forward. I know that for sure. So, she's going to go forward until she hits the blue block. So, it says, if standing on the blue coral, then what is she going to do? She's going to turn right. right. Yeah. So let's have her turn right if she's standing on the blue. And then if she's standing on the red, is it would it be turn left? Let's try that. Let's I don't even know if it is, but let's just try it. So if she's standing on blue, turn right. Standing on red, turn left. Let's see if that works. Okay, so she goes to the blue. She's going to turn right, blue again, turn right. Here she comes to the red, turn left. Yay! 
Yay, it's working. It's working. It's working. Awesome. That one was hard. Okay, so if blue turn right, if red turn left. Okay, we've got two more levels. Okay, this one says there's a squid hiding somewhere in the ocean monument. Can you find it? Okay, so we're going to do this repeat until goal thing again. Okay, this one is hard. If standing on something. Okay, so we're going to move forward and standing on a sea lantern. This white thing must be a sea lantern. Okay. Yep, those are sea lanterns. So if I'm there, I want to turn right. Right? Okay. So then if I, okay, let's run it and see what happens. So I go to the first sea lantern, I turn right, I go to the next one, I turn right, keep going, turn right, keep going, turn right, oh. Oh, that was easy, I got it, yay! There was a lot of other things, but I didn't need any of those, okay. All right, here comes the last level. Let's see. I and I wrote it down. I wrote it down on my paper. <laughs> Cuz it was so hard. Okay. It says, "Build a wall of prismarine around the black concrete. This will activate the conduit and complete your challenge." Okay, so I have to build a wall around this little square right here. It took me a while to figure that out, what I had to do. Okay, so I'm gonna repeat until the conduit is completed. So if I'm standing on the, if I'm standing, right now I'm standing on a sea lantern. So if I'm standing, then I'm gonna place my prismarine um, piece. And then let's just run it and see what happens. Okay, so then I'm going to move forward. Okay, but see, I'm, I'm getting, okay, let me just try it again. I'm getting confused already. Okay, so Not moving forward. Okay, let me take this off. Let me put this outside of that. Uh-oh. I hit the wall. <laughs> I love that. Crash, crash, crash. So I have to turn right at some point. So... if standing on Donald I out. Uh... You have to put a uh, place forward, I mean move forward, and then place a uh, prismarine, and then keep doing that. Okay, I think my next one, if I'm standing on a dark prismarine, I have to also place a, pris a light prismarine. Okay, and then I have to turn right at some point. So let's put that down here. Okay, so let's try that. So if I'm on the sea lantern, I place it. If I'm on the dark one, I place it. Uh-oh. And then I turned right. Okay, that didn't work out so great. <laughs> it's so funny when they hit their head. Okay. Um, um, there's this repeat down here. I'm going to put this in here and I'm going to put, before I turn right, I'm going to take out the turn right. I'm going to put this here and I'm going to repeat one, two, three, four. There are four dark prismarines. So I'm going to do four. Let's see if that works. 
wait, and I'm going to put the turn right right here. Let's try that. Four. Yay! Okay, so it does the four, and then when it's on the C lantern, it places one, and then it turns right. Wow. That one was so hard. Okay, what happens? Yay! Me okay. The, um, eleventh one, because I'm still stuck on that one. I know. Isn't that hard? And then the twelfth yeah. one is just basically saying congratulations, you did it, and now you can just do some free coding in this one. So let me go back to to eleven. Okay. So I repeat until the conduit is completed, and then I repeat four times. The thing I repeat four times is, first of all, if I'm standing on the white sea lantern, I place the prismarine, and then I move forward. And if I'm standing on a dark prismarine, I place a prismarine. I don't know what a prismarine is. <laughs> but anyway. rock in Minecraft. And I do that, I do that four times, and then I turn right and I start it over again. Because there are four sides. So there are four blocks, one, two, three, four. There are four blocks here, and then I start the process over again, where I'm on the sea lantern. So I've already turned right. And then I start the process over again four times, and then I turn right, and then I do it again four times, turn right, do it again. Okay? <laughs> so this is block coding, and code.org uses block coding. And and I think there's some JavaScript underneath the block coding. If there's this thing right here that says show code, can you see where my mouse is going around? I'm going to show you all the code. Look at this code. It's called JavaScript. It's the world's most widely used coding language. So look at all these, these different symbols in here they've got um some are normal words that you can understand some are just little symbols this is called the syntax of this code the like kind of like the language okay so the video on um lesson 12 lesson 12 yeah let's play that video real quick because they're just telling you congratulations yeah. and then you can do some free play. Congratulations! Oh, you we get to see it. their faces. Congratulations! Look at this guy. You did it! Congratulations! Congratulations! What a great day! All the treasure hunting led to us to build a Minecraft conduit. Nautilus shells, treasure chests, and I just love the color of prismarine. And we learned how to code with loops and conditionals. Speaking of coding, there is one more level to this quest. Are you up for it, adventurers? It's a free play level, and you can put your coding skills to use and build something incredible. Hmm, a place to hide your treasure, an underwater monument, a coral castle. Ah, so many ideas. Try using loops to create a repeat action and conditionals to prepare for all those unpredictable scenarios. You've certainly proven yourself an intrepid coder by now, and I can't wait to see what you build. And hopefully your adventures with code don't end here. Bon voyage! I love their accents. Okay, so then this is just a free play level. And so that's really fun. Okay, so that was Minecraft. Wait, now you can spawn a cod. Now I'm going to show you 
Code Combat. Are you ready? Okay, I'm going to switch from beginner to comfortable. Comfortable, and here is Code Combat. Da, 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 da. Now, it's a tiny bit violent because they have a sword and they have to fight people, but it's not that bad. All right, this says, welcome back to Code Combat's Hour of Code. Are you an educator or a student? I'm going to say I'm a student. And then this thing over here, you can just exit out of that. You don't have a class code. Okay, there's some music. Can you hear me talking over the music? Okay, I'm going to click where it's telling me to click. Hear the music. I can't hear it. I'm going to press play. For the win! Oh, change hero right here. For the win! They only have these four characters to choose from. The other ones you have to pay for or sign up or subscribe. So they have some cool characters. They have some cool characters if you want to subscribe, but you don't have to. Okay, so I'm going to press the play button. Now, Code Combat, we just learned JavaScript. Code Combat is Python. Are we ready for Python? All right, avoid the spikes, collect the gems. So they're telling you, you have to go forward, you have to go down, you have to go back up, you have to go up again, over to the right. Remember how to move, it's important. I'm going to start the level. All right, so here is the first command. It says hero, comma, move right, parentheses. Move down command on line four. And it says, type a move down command on line four. So this looks really complicated, but it's not. It's really easy because all you have to do is type the H, the letter H for hero, and it pops up all the commands. And then all you have to do is click on them. So I'm going to tap move down. Okay, so my hero is going to move down and then move up, so I just press H for move up. Oh, it's wanting me to run it. Okay, so I'm gonna press run. Move right, move down, move up. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna move up again, so I press the letter H and I tap on move up. And then I have to go over to the right. So I'm going to press the letter H and tap on move right. And I think that's it. Move Let's right. try it. Move down. Move up. Move up. Move right. Yay, I did it. Success. It says success over here. And then it's pointing that I'm done. So I did it. I did the first level and I got a bunch of XP, a bunch of coins, I mean gems, whatever. Okay, and I'm moving on to the next one. For the win! Yes. You don't have to, if you want to save, then yes, you have to create an account. But to just play for a little while, you don't have to do an account. Okay, now I have to equip myself with a belt. So it says double tap to equipped. All right, so I just got five health. And I'm going to play with my new belt. <laughs> okay, so it tells you what to do. It says collect all the gems. Don't let the ogre see you. So the ogre is down in the bottom. I have to go right, up, right, down, left. Or is that right? Let's Move see. Right. Okay, so I already moved right. So now I'm going to go up. Then I'm going to move right. Then I'm going to go down. 
And then move right again, I think. Okay, let's try it. Move right. Move right. Go move up. Move right. Move down. Move right. Okay, Stay lucky. Right. No ogre saw me to get me. Okay, here I go. I'm moving. I'm doing this kind of quickly. Okay, if you need to go, you can go and you can watch the recording. All right, I'm going to do a couple more levels. For the win! Okay, now this one, there are fire traps that I have to avoid. So I have to go on these, the, the wood that doesn't have fire on it. Yeah, it's a bridge. There you go. Okay, so where am I going? Okay, so I have to move right. Oh, this is teaching you that inside these parentheses, I can put a number three, and it'll make you move right three times. Okay, so one, two, three. Now I need to move up. I need to move right. I need to go down three times. One, two, three. So I'm going to do move down, and then inside the parentheses, I'm going to tap inside there, and I'm going to put the number three. And then move right. Okay, so I moved right three times. I went up, I went right, then now I'm going down three times. Uh-oh, I didn't go to the right enough times. So I have to go to the right two times. Let's see if that works. So go three times, up, over, down three times, and then to the right three times. And I did it. Okay, that's one thing to learn is that you have to... You have to put numbers in the parentheses. Oh, I'm getting my sword. This one says that you have to attack people twice. So you have to put their name in there and you have to attack them twice. So here I'm going to move to the right. And then it says hero attack and it has the person's name in there. And you have to put a capital letter or else it's not going to work. Okay, so let's see what happens. I'm going to the right. Okay, awesome. Now I'm going to go to the right to get the gem. And then I'm going to attack this guy twice. So I'm going to say hero attack. And then I'm going to press the delete key one time and then I'm going to type in capital T R E G cuz that's this guy's name. And then on line 9, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to press delete and type in capital T R E G. Move right. Let's see if that works. So I have to attack him twice, get my gem and attack this guy twice. Yay. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to show you is how to get hints. There's a book where you can read where all the hints are. Oh, this one you can say a password. This one, it says... For the win! This one contains a password. Do we know what the password is? Did it say what the password is? I don't know. So I'm going to go up here to this blue button.
button at the top right because it says hint. Oh, it tells you right here. The password is a chew. Okay, so I'm going to, thank you. I'm going to say, press delete, and I'm going to type in capital A-C-H-O-O. -O. Thank you. Now grab the gems. So I have to go up. Let's do three times. Yes. Are they real people? No, they're ogres. No, there aren't other people playing. I'm coding. Right? So, so it's just, those people just automatically come and attack, and attack me. Okay, now I get this book. Yes. Can you what? Can I leave the meeting? Yes, you can leave. I'm only going to be here for 10 more minutes. I think this is all we're going to get to today. Okay, use hint button. That's what it's trying to say. Here's the hint. Oh, except that's not readable. Okay, you need to say a password to open the library door. The password is in the hints. Click the blue hint button above. If you get stuck, click on hint. So, I already did this before. This is not working very well. But I saw that the hint is hush. What? It's hush. H-U-S-H. Let's see if that works. Yay, that worked. But then what? Then I have to move right, I guess. There we go. Okay, so hopefully you guys get the idea of what Code Combat is all about. Hey, you got a new hero. Oh, I did. I got a new hero. Let's do one more. For the win! Defeat the ogres. Your hero must survive. Okay, I'm going to actually let, I don't want to fight these guys, so I'm going to quit right here. Because <laughs> I want to show you one more thing. So that was fun. That's called Code Combat. I'm going to quit. But you guys, when you play this, hopefully you can get farther than I did. I'm going to show you one more thing, and it's this one called Compute It. And this one, instead of you writing the code, you're going to be reading the code and you, you're going to move your arrow keys. So hopefully you guys, ha you have a keyboard, you have arrow keys on your keyboard. So now I'm going to read the code. I'm going to use my right arrow key. So I'm going to do that three times. So I go right, right, right. Oh, why isn't it working? What? Maybe you can click that. Um, how do I make it work? I finished my hour of code. No, I didn't. Oh, but I have done it for an hour, so they're giving me a a certificate. So that's really cool. But why isn't this working? Oh, okay, now it's working. Good. Okay, so I'm gonna go along this path. Now I'm going to go up, right, down, left. So I go up, right, down, left. All right, now I'm going to level three. So I go up, right, 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 up. 
Uh oh, what did I do wrong? Up. How many are there? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ooh, it tricked me. Oh, now it's getting harder. So there's something about um, when things are indented. So I go up, repeat three times. So I repeat right three times, I think. One, two, three, and then I go up. Yeah, okay. So this is pretty hard. It gets hard quickly. I go up, repeat nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, up. This is pretty fun though. You just go. Okay, now I'm going to repeat left down three times. So I go left, down, left, down, left, down, and then up. Yay. Oh, okay, let's see if I can do this one. I repeat down left three times. So down left, down left, down left, and then right down, right down, and then up, right, up, right. Yay! So I'm just reading what it says. Now I'm going to go down four times. This will be my last one. I wonder if you can just figure out where you'll end up if you do that, and then you no, but if you make a mistake anywhere, it it does this, and it starts you over. So you have to do it correctly. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So there, it started and ended at the same place. Okay, so that one is super fun and kind of hard. I was doing it yesterday, and I got up to level 50. So... You guys can do it. All right. So those are three games on the Hour of Code website that will keep you busy for hours. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed those. And next time, um, we're going to have you show me something. So I can't wait to see what you're going to show me. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.